Hi, my name is Brechtje and you are watching Estona Tutorials. And it is a very happy tutorial, just take a look here. I received the superior double bench by Durston to make a tutorial for you. So I don't know how I got to be this lucky. Durston, thank you very, very much. And of course, you as viewers, without you, this wasn't possible. So thank you. And uh, furthermore, in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can build this up. You are going to meet Mr. Tutorials and I'm just having fun with uh, making this video. So I hope you will enjoy it as well. And um, here we go. I received an absolutely wonderful gift from my friends at Durston. I think I can call them besties after this one because this is truly gorgeous. Don't be fooled by the picture here because this is looking a bit dark. And this is how it looks in real life. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, but we are still looking at the bottom here because you have to place it upside down to put it together. I wanted to show you an entire unboxing video, but this thing weighs over 150 kilograms. So it was quite a struggle to get it up here. But we are going to build it up together, so uh, I think it's going to be quite easy. And if it's not, we're just going to have a laugh with it. So let's gather everything and see if we can get it assembled. And for me, this really spells out Durston. I opened my package and everything is in here, uh, separately wrapped, so it's easy to find. You can't miss anything, so let's get started. I'm going to attach these parts. And I'm not going to fasten everything until I have all the screws in place. Yeah. As expected, everything really fits together. And this is a very nice material. So this is going to last you a lifetime. Okay, so that went so easy that I am actually hoping for a little bit more struggles for the next part because I really like putting things together and if it will continue to go this fast then I will be done in five minutes and that will be a shame. So for the next part we are going to attach a footrest that is going to be nice while working and I'm going to uh, grab the next couple of screws. So I guess this one is meant to move around so you can move your feet a bit while working. That might actually be nice. This is it so far and now I'm going to call someone to help me to get this thing on its feet. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm starting to need to fill the Yeah. Wow, thank you well. So building up the bench was easy, but I had to reorganize my entire workspace to give it this spot. I really love how this is looking. I'm very happy with my setup here. And now let's place the drawers and everything in there so we can see how it looks once it's done. And take a look at this. All the drawers are lined with this green fabric. So uh, I'm going to be very careful not to get this dirty. And there is even room here for a soldering tray. And this comes with the bench. How awesome is that? 
And I don't know if you have noticed these holes, but these are for mandrel. So when you are tapping down a ring or sizing down a ring, you can just stick your mandrel in there. And this is for the GRS bench system. And it even comes with a couple of armrests. It has a drawing board and now on to the final part. So it even comes with this gorgeous aluminum tray in which you can catch your sandings or your filings. I like the bench very, very much. I mean, what's not to like? There is just one thing that I don't like. This is very nicely rounded out. This one above is as well. But then here there is a straight latch and I just don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out myself. And in case you are wondering why I am doing so, I would just like to say why not. Because I think this bench is beautiful, but it does need this. I'll just smooth this out with a file. I have plenty of those. And I think this is looking much better, but of course it isn't necessary to do this at all. And there is one thing about this bench that made me laugh. It is this footrest. I really like the idea of being able to move your feet like this and rest them while working. There is just one small problem here. I'll show you. It's this. My feet don't fit underneath here. I am from the Netherlands, so maybe I am a bit taller than most people. But uh, as you can see, my knee doesn't fit here. But I am going to contact Durston and I'm sure that they will solve the problem. But on the other hand, maybe they should leave it like this. Because it is the perfect position to lean back after a long day of work. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and just enjoy the end of a busy work day. It is a gorgeous and absolutely stunning bench. I really love the way it looks and I am so looking forward to going to use this. Yeah, this truly is a magnificent gift. Durston, thank you so much. And I do want to point out to you that I am in no way being paid or sponsored by Durston. They send this product to, to me uh, to test out and to make an honest review, but uh, I am not linked to them in any way. I do have a discount code and uh, that can be nice for the both of us, because if you want to order something at Durston, you will get a 10% discount. Uh, the code is mentioned in the description below this video and I will receive a small bonus as well. So uh, that can help my channel grow. Of course, never feel obligated to buy anything. Uh, just if you were planning to get something from Durston, then uh, remember to use the code that would help me out. And if you are having problems ordering uh, since Durston is in the UK and since Brexit, everything is hard there. I do have a code for Herens and Herens and they ship all over Europe and a code for gas wine as well. And they ship uh, over the rest of the world. So you should be good to go. Just check them in the description uh, down below. Furthermore, I am still working on my website and it isn't going as fast as I wanted to go. So please hang in there and I will uh, give you a message when it's online. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please let me know. Uh, I am receiving all sorts of uh, photos through Instagram and Facebook. You can tag me in your picture with at estona.jewelry.tutorials. And I am really loving to see all of your work. So uh, thanks, thanks again, and uh, thank you even more. Have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you again at the next Estona Tutorials.